The city council overrode the mayor's veto of an ordinance to hire two attorneys to advise the city council. But the council won't get to use them because there is a restraining order to put the brakes on the plan. Ironically, the issue will be decided in court, and the council will need its own attorneys for that. The whole thing started over concerns that the council was breaking the law by trying to hire outside attorneys apart from the administration's lawyers. So a group of business leaders who were at Tuesday's meeting spoke with a person and the spokesperson for those people said hiring additional lawyers without the mayor's consent violates the city charter. And tonight's developing story, News Channel 5's Joel Massey shows us how the city may take an economic hit because of this fighting. Greg Upton is one of about 40 Alexandria business leaders who've been meeting together about ways that the city could grow economically. We felt Alexandria was poised to really move forward and with growth and opportunity to get our children back here uh, to work and, you know, and grow. Just before a controversial vote at the Alexandria City Council meeting, Upton spoke out on behalf of the group. You, you can't negotiate whether you're going to live by the charter or not. I mean, that's the basic rule of law through and by which we're governed. And that's why it concerned us as a group is such a fundamental issue. Upton says the issue at hand, which has sparked a lawsuit filed by Mayor Jacques Roy, makes businesses uneasy about coming to Alexandria. And when you get politics involved in all that and political infighting and political instability, people will look at us and say, well, we can go over to another city or another state where we don't have to deal with all the politics. Though the lawsuit begins at the Ninth Judicial Court, Upton says it may not end there. If they appeal it, it'd go to the Third Circuit Court of Appeals in Lake Charles. Then whatever party loses there, they're, they're going to decide if it, they want to take it all the way to the Supreme Court. The process could drag on for more than a year, with both sides paying their lawyers' fees with taxpayers' money. In Alexandria, Joel Massey, News Channel 5. A hearing is set for next Tuesday, 9.30 a.m. in the 9th Judicial District Court. It will be heard before Judge Harry Rando. Now, the City Council must show why the temporary restraining order that prohibits hiring separate attorneys should be lifted during these proceedings. The Provost City Firm is representing Mayor Roy. No word yet about the recent council. Another 